all this is Tammy and welcome back to Happy Art Creations. Well today what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the bloom technique and if you've been on YouTube you've seen that there's plenty of people doing it and they use all kinds of different um, recipes. Tammy Anderson came up with one I'm really interested in doing so um, anyhow and you don't have to use house paint you don't have to use a whole lot of other stuff and you can use Floetrol anyhow and I wrote this recipe down <laughs> on the back of tissue box okay because as she was talking I thought okay I'm gonna try it so that's what we're gonna do and in the mail I sent off um, a lot of people use these uh, uh, micas well, I sent off, and I found some that were in my budget, and they're called Naked Fusion. I do not know if they're any good, but I'm going to try them, and they, the colors are absolutely gorgeous looking. So today, y'all, if you just don't know already, we had to cancel our beach trip. We had to cancel our beach, beach trip because of the coronavirus and all that's going on with the beaches, and we were going to be there a whole week. All my kids were going to be there, my grandkiddos, all of that fun stuff. We had to cancel it. Well, that doesn't mean I don't want to still be there. So what I am doing again, y'all, is I want to do some beach colors. And I'm going to use, remember the one of the rounds? Just the wood round? It's got to look good. I'm not going to make anything fancy about it. I'm going to move around, blow it around, do my little thing with it here. Um, I already covered the back. I want to keep it clean. And I'm going to use these colors. I'm going to use sapphire. Okay. This one's ocean. This one's sea foam, and this one is called metallic bronze, and it sure does look like awesome. So I'm going to use four colors. It came with a package of 24 or 25 of these glorious, there's 10 grams in each one. Um, I will be giving it a good old try. I have used in the past, um, uh, let's see, um, oh, I keep forgetting their name, Jacour, Jacquard, Jacquard. Anyhow. Um, I have used that and uh, had good results um, so I'm gonna try these because um, the jacquard were more of a pearl at that sense so I want to try these and see what the colors are I've never tried them before and this this new technique is new to me so I'm gonna try it okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna follow her instructions and the only thing that she didn't say and she might have, and I may have just missed it. Well, I can't even open this up. Okay. Y'all? Ah, oh, there we go. I imagine I have to be very careful. Well, I do. Okay. Because these mica powders, you know what it is. Um, I am going to mix it up with a little bit of polyacrylic, and a lot of them do that. They use the Vivid, vivid Enamel and kind of um, uh, dissolve it up before they add it into the pouring medium okay the pouring medium is very simple most people have these things if you don't you can get them they're easily available um, this is what she did you can use this for either the pigments and she uses primary elements or you can use a tube paint you can do any of that um, one tablespoon of glue one tablespoon of vivid enamel or the golden gel uh, acrylic uh, three ounces of Floetrol and one teaspoon of water. Now, I mix that all together, and the only thing I did not add yet is the water, and I want to do that um, as needed for my, um, uh, oh shoot, what is it? Uh, just for my consistency. Doggone, my blonde knees is kicking in. Um, and I think, <laughs> I'm going to throw in uh, a green blue from Amsterdam. Okay, greenish blue with Amsterdam. And I just, I think that'll add, it's, I think it'll tie them all together. And it's good to add uh, a tube paint with your micas. Okay, that's what I've been told. So, um, anyhow, that's what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm only going to make a little bit. Okay, so I've already kind of gently stirred up. Um, and before we get started, here's my polyacrylic. I put it in a bottle. Um, it's a varnish. Uh, so anyhow, I'm just going to put just enough in the bottom. Oops, I didn't put very much. Just enough because I'm only adding a little bit of pigment. Let me go ahead and 
and do that right here. And these uh, greenish blue by Amsterdam, I have already mixed that up according to this recipe, okay? Um, but I have not tried these new ones and I want it to. So there's about what I need. Um, the binders that you're going to be putting with your pouring medium are the glues and things like that. So that should be okay and it should work. I'm hoping and praying. So I'm going to go ahead and get about an eighth of a teaspoon. I'm just going to keep it simple. Oop. Wow, this stuff is vibrant. Look at that. Oh my gosh, can you see that? Look. And I'm going to stick that in there just like that. Okay, let me close this up because I don't trust myself and I don't want to miss. <laughs> so um, I have a damp towel and I'm going to keep using this one little spoon so I don't want to mix my colors too much. Okay, a little bit here, a little bit there. All right, let me move on to uh, the metallic bronze. It doesn't look like a traditional bronze and they've got like all kinds of awesome awesome colors but it does look yummy so here we go there's that oh I'm a, I, I'm really looking forward to seeing how these work um, I see lots of people who are using these and getting some beautiful and I have done the bloom technique it's not necessarily a beginner's technique so just keep that in mind this is not the traditional pouring um, that you would normally do this is not this is a little bit more advanced, but you know, I just wanted to go ahead and do it with you, okay? Um, this is the sea foam, the sea foam, okay? So I'm just going to get a little bit out. I don't know about you, but that looks pretty good too. These, I hope these are as bright and as wonderful as um, they look. All right. Got my last one, and it is called Ocean. And y'all, mm, we had rented, all of us together had rented a house. You could have walked to the beach, about a good mile walk, but I don't care. We, it, it was a beautiful, beautiful, you know, what are they called, Airbnb kind of thing. And we were gonna go, and oh my gosh, looking forward to, oh, that's luscious. Oops, sorry guys, there we go, luscious. Okay, yeah. And that does look like it's ocean. I kind of like these little baggies. I'm okay with them. So long as they don't poof open when I open them up. All right. So, I'm going to wipe that off later. Okay. So, I've got my polyacrylic just to dissolve. And this is very similar to what you would do if you had used some of the other recipes they have. They use the Vivid Enamels and a few other little things. Um, oh, wow, that's luscious. <laughs> I mean, really, look at that. That is really, really nice. So I think the only thing that's different in mine, and maybe it's not, is that I did the polyacrylic. Because it doesn't mix necessarily very well. You need to do something with the micas. They don't always, and I want them to melt down really well. Um, you can get these um, naked, naked Fusion on um, uh, Amazon. Y'all, I don't have a link. I'm working on getting that together. Um, again, just give me some grace. Um, today, or actually last night, my next door neighbor had given me, and they had re refinished, redone, completely restored an old home, okay? And they gave me a white above the sink uh, medicine chest kind of thing. And it's big, and it's big, but it was old, and you could tell it needed some work, so I just washed it down, literally, just washed it down, and... Um, Painted it with a really beautiful, warm yellow, and it is so pretty. I'll have to show you. Um, look at that. That is so, so nice. And you've seen this color. You know I love Amsterdam, the greenish blue. It's just a glorious color. And I think there's enough in between all of these blue, a difference. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Maybe I'll put the... The light, dark, light, dark, and then the neutral, okay? Now, 
I have my pouring medium all together and I think I'm just going to start with a tablespoon of it at a time and see how that goes. There's one. You can always add a little bit more pigment um, to, to, get, to give the degree of, <clears throat> of um, intensity of colors. Uh, so for the base, you, other people have used a specific uh, house paint. Again, this is more in advance. This is not the traditional. This is not the traditional pouring that um, any beginner might start, and it's probably not the best to use for traditional. I'm sorry, to uh, start with doing the blooms first, okay? You need to practice on doing your regular pours, getting your consistency with your pouring mediums, um, learning simple techniques as, as, such as a swipe and, and a flip cup. Work on those kind of things. That is a beautiful, I hope. I don't know, I kind of like that. I don't think I'm going to add anything to it. In all reality, that, that looks like sea foam, but now you see it's a little bit thicker. That is thicker. And that's why I kind of wanted to reserve um, putting my water in until about now. That way I could get all of it. And this is ocean. Oh wow, look at that. These are pretty light. Hmm, let me see that one. Ocean. I might put a tad more, just a tad on that one. I love the green, but let me, wow, I don't know if I like these baggies or not. They're not painting in the keister. Okay, let's see. Uh, I'm going to add a little bit, and I know I didn't, let's see, I hope it mixes well. Maybe I shouldn't have done that, but I'm going to try it. This one's going to take a little bit more stirring. Well, it's dissolving, okay. I'm going to let it sit. While I'm stirring the other, I'll come back to this one. This was the sapphire. Now, your pouring medium always makes these look... Um, a little bit lighter, and hopefully they'll dry. Um, everything in your pouring medium is, should dry clear. Okay, so that's your sapphire. This is your ocean. This is the greenish blue. This is the sea foam, which I think is glorious. And the bronze. Okay, now I'm going to use a little bit of my 90% water, 10% Floetrol. There is some Floetrol in the um, pouring medium. So uh, it's not going to hurt for me to put a few drops at a time because just like with anything that you have, any of your pouring, your traditional pouring or even this, the consistency has to be the same. All right, so it's getting there. I'm going to have another maybe a couple drops. I'm not, just a little bit of time because I didn't make that much. So um, err on the side of not enough and you can always keep adding until you find like you like it okay oh wow that's pretty I like that one all right this one is thicker um, I have to say that the naked fusion it did dissolve pretty doggone good let me add a little bit of water this one is thicker you know there are some paints I have found that um, colors like um, turquoise or there's certain blues that are just really, really, uh, you just have to keep adding until it gets thinner. It just, it likes to be thick. Okay. Mm, that's not quite as thin as the other one. And, and you saw that I put, the only difference in this one is I added a little bit more mica. So, um, that's feeling better. Remember how I said it feels, it feels good. Now you don't want it super runny. Um, this one feels good already. All right, here we go. Let's try this one, just a few drops. Oh wow, this is gorgeous. And it looks like there might be some gold highlight in there. Hmm, I don't know. Not quite, almost. 
Well, here in Tennessee, I don't know about y'all, but we had lots of rain. Now we have sunshine, and then it would rain, then it'd come a gully washer, and then it then it would come sunshine again. Now my dogs, thank the Lord, are outside because they're driving me nuts. Um, honey and Shuggy, Shuggy Bear. They're both Honey Bear and Shuggy Bear. And we got them when they were uh, two days shy of being six weeks. Believe it or not, they were already eating kibble. They were little country dogs, and and we were just going to get one. And then we saw two. <laughs> we always had two dogs, and we always liked them to have company. So if we're not here, they're not by themselves. And we kind of always felt that way. Um, I think sometimes people can be more solitary and um, cats don't mind it too much, although they do like, hmm, that one still, these colors are very, very nice. I'm excited about them, okay? I'm almost there, y'all. I just, remember I told you about the consistency. There we go. I think they're all pretty much like this one here. Let me check this. Okay. Preparation is important. I mean, you want to get it right so that, um, you know, your end product is beautiful, right? And so that's what I'm working on. I'm trying. Um, this is one of the uh, things in our art that is... Um, it's newer to me and I forgot to get my which I have already I have a cell a cell uh, activator now my activator is um, just uh, Amsterdam paint and water and I had already done that and she made a big thing of it um, but the one thing about this is that this, your activator, needs to be thinner than your other paints. So normally I don't pull it out like that, but because I'm unsure of how to do, um, this, is, this is a new thing for me right here. I want to make sure that mine is, oh, and Floetrol. It, uses, it uses a little Floetrol. Uh, I, that it it does what I want it to do. Now I'm looking for what they call a bloom or something really, really, there we go. <clears throat> a lot of people are using black, a lot of people are using white as their cell activator. I also like to use brown and I might because of my sand. This is, no, I'm not anywhere near. Um, just a little. Uh, I like the brown. I like it better than the black. Okay. Wow. <laughs> Might have gotten that a little bit. Doesn't take much um, as your activator, so that's why I only put a little bit. I don't normally put them in these little bitty cups like this, but I wanted them to look good. I wanted it to turn out good. All right. So we've got that, and we've got that. Then I've got my Amsterdam. I already have that mixed up. Doo, doo. Anybody else sing as they go along and do stuff? Usually have some kind of, oh, that's way too big. I'm all out of, let's see. I'm, oh, there we go, found one. Now this is going to be your thickest. And you see the consistency on that? This is going to be my base, base coat. Or my pillow. You might hear pillow. Okay, so I'm going to move these out of the way. Alright, so I want to do, I think, my sand some. Hmm, I don't know yet. Alright, I'm definitely going to do sapphire first. I'm going to decide on my sand. So I'm going to put that here first. Then I'm going to use the ocean. Then the greenish blue. The green, 
or the um, sea foam. And I guess I'll go ahead and put the, oh, I don't know. Hmm. I'm just going to play it by ear. Okay. And then these guys right here, I'm going to move them over. I haven't decided on the brown for sure. So I'm going to pour a pillow. I'm going to put a small amount in right now first. Okay. And it is definitely thicker. See my pillow? It's a beautiful white pillow. Okay. You don't need much. But again, your pillow is thick. And it's going to do what you want it to do. You want your paint to kind of slide over it. Okay. Now you're going to see that I'm not putting a whole lot of paint. It This will last a long time. So it seems like, you know, okay. And don't worry about this over here. We're going to fix that up. This is gorgeous. Um, you might have bubbles and we'll need to pop those or sometimes they leave a little... Um, a white spot sometimes up underneath. I'm not going to put too much of this Amsterdam green because sometimes the greenish blue, sometimes these type colors will overtake. Now do I want it to overtake? No. So, um, but you will see that so I'm not worried about it. And I like all of these colors together. Look at that. Here we go ocean. Here we go. See it? And that Amsterdam is going to mix with all of these, so it's it's there. Okay. I'm not going to do the brown because this is such a rich bronze, okay? So I'm just going to use the white activator. So let me put my bronze. And a lot of these are... Uh, metallics and metallics do sometimes make cells also just on their own so I don't have a problem with that now again remember this has to be thinner than your other paints before I put the activator on I'm gonna take and pour a little bit more paint around the sides now that I've got my pillow because I want it to cover my sides I am gonna resin these And I'm just going to do this, and it's going to flow over. So my sides, if it doesn't get covered on the sides, it'll flow over. At least it should. This is a messy, it's fun, but it is messy, messy, messy. Okay, are you ready? Because I am. Let's go. All right, do I have anything to poke any bubbles? Do, 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 do. That'll work. Okay, do I see? Here's one right here. Oh, there it popped on its own. All right. I don't see any in the white, so we're doing, oh, there's one. That's going to go over, so I'm not really concerned about that too much. Okay, here's the cell activator. Amsterdam, a little bit of Floetrol water. That is all. There's no chemicals. There's nothing other than your normal. Sometimes it sinks, so as you can see, it's starting to sink. So I'm going to, all right, here we go. I'm going to blow this, and I'm going to blow just on the top. Ready? Oh, it's pretty. All right, now, can you see the cells that are forming right in here? That is absolutely gorgeous. I've got some paint already flowing over, so I'm going to go ahead while I'm just doing this and covering my sides a little bit. Okay, I'm going to let that sit. So what I'm trying to do right now is... There's an indentation right there in the middle, okay? And because it's in the middle, you want to see all of your paint draw back together, okay? Thank you, Tammy Anderson. This looks so neat. I'm excited about this recipe. Thank you very much. I didn't take the course from Sheely Art. And, um, man, this is beautiful. I love these colors, too. Oh my gosh. So I'm going to stretch this out back and forth until I find the design that I like. It's still, I'm going to let it sit a little bit longer. Okay. And again, don't worry about your sides. I'm just doing it because I can. And um, I like doing it on these trays too. 
And um, as I was revamping my, my art room here, um, I found two puppy piddle pads. I found two. So I thought, oh, I'm going to use that today. Um, and I always use them when they're upside down like this, because here's the absorbent side. Because sometimes I can get jewelry I can dip and, and uh, use some skins on it. Um, usually, if it dries, it doesn't peel away very good for a normal skin. But <clears throat> if you're going to dip, it'll be just fine. Okay, and that's what I did. Okay, almost there. So let me go ahead and start moving it around. And see how it's kind of stuck in the middle? See that one area right here? Still not moving. So what I'm going to do is just stretch back and forth like this. These make beautiful coasters. Oh my goodness, this stuff makes beautiful coasters. Um, wow, it's really thick. I'm just, oh. Trying to loosen that up a little bit. Let's see. Did I, did I mess it up? I hope not. Okay, that's almost moving. So let me go this way and this way, and that's all you do. You just play with it. Bring it back to the middle, the center there. Bring it this way and bring it over to the middle and go back over, and it's starting to move. See it? See that center starting to move. So this is a beautiful one. There we go. Let me turn. My plan is to keep as much of my cells and my webbing, if you can see that. So I'm going to tilt. The, the way you can tilt, what makes it so much so easy to tilt is that you've got a thicker pillow, a thicker base underneath your paint. And so it's tilting on top of that paint. So I'm going to try to get that corner right there. There you go. And then I'm just going to bring it right back over. Isn't that gorgeous? It's looking absolutely beautiful. So let me take a look at it. Right in here, I'm not so sure I want all of that white. So I'm going to bring it back to center and I'm going to move some of this, okay? I think I got it to center. I hope you can see that move. It's hard on videos. I'm learning, okay? I'm not necessarily technically, I am definitely technically challenged. And so I have my moments and sometimes they're good. And then I'm going to pour that right back, right back, because I don't want to lose my stuff. And I'm going to pour over here. I think I've gone all the way around just about. I think these are gorgeous. Now you do this until you like your design. I'm almost there. And I'm going to bring it back to the middle and I'm going to look at it. Let me bring it this way. Some of it looks like stained glass. And I'll bring you in for a close-up on this one. And this will just keep pouring off. I'm going around. There's another spot. You can just kind of take your finger and move it down like that. I'll show you the sides when I'm done here. Looks like I got it. And you definitely want to keep Wow, these colors are really, really, I don't know, that kind of looks pretty oceany to me. How about you? Got a beautiful sandbar. <laughs> I mean, seriously. Now, this is not an ocean sandbar. I'm fixing to tell you that when we went, we lived, my husband was military, and we lived up in Idaho. And we weren't very far from, we were about eight hours from um, Yellowstone. And if you want to see beautiful pristine, clear, clear water. I've never seen water as clear and pristine as I did up there at the Yellowstone. But there was a, um, a, a what's it call it, a sandbar right smack dab in the middle of Lake um, Yellowstone. It was amazing to go fishing. I fish at it, I have fun doing it, but I'm not a fisherman, for sure not. Okay, I'm gonna bring this in. Um, and give you a good look at this. Oops, let me bring it up here. All right, look at those colors. This is beautiful. 
this is ocean I don't want to pour it over to the side but when they're finished I will let you see them on my next video hopefully I'll let you see this it turned out beautiful I'm very I love these colors um, I love the subtleness of them but they're also vibrant so I right now I'm a thumbs up on the um, naked fusion uh, micas um, Wow it's beautiful and with this resin it's gonna be a beautiful beautiful piece to share you can put it up like your uh, you know just a simple little stand you could put a hook on the back and you can hang it you can hang them in threes or fours or fives or whatever you can put them in groupings um, anyhow they're gorgeous and um, totally totally love this okay well you know what I'm finished with this today or at least this one right here I'm gonna keep on going but I wanted to show you that this is not hard it is definitely more advanced and if you're just a beginner I say save this for later but look forward to doing it okay all right thank you for uh, visiting with me this evening um, I wish you a good evening and a great night's sleep and everybody please stay healthy and safe um, Hopefully, we'll get to open up our nation soon, a little bit at a time. Uh, thank you again. Good night, y'all. Toodles. Hey, y'all. I almost forgot to show you my new cabinet. Anyhow, it has beautiful windows, and I keep my metallics and stuff like that. Let me open this up real quick. And look. Here I am. Isn't it cool? And it holds just exactly what I need for right now. And down below, I've got my pre-mades and things like that. So I just wanted to show you. It's the most luscious yellow. Uh, a little bit deeper than a buttercup. It's just luscious. Anyhow, thanks again. Hey, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.